All right, and welcome back. We are going to just quickly add in some extra customers. I don't care what you do in terms of names and everything. Just make sure that they fit our validation rules. Um, once you've entered in maybe five more customers, uh, that'll be enough. And then you can continue on with this tutorial. All right, now that you've entered your customers, now you can close your input form. Um, and you can come back and you'll notice that they've all been put into your customer hire table. Um, and you'll see some of them are zeros. Uh, that means they didn't obviously hire that item. Um, and there we go. So now we've got like sort of a, a functioning table here. Maybe we want to just be able to view certain characteristics. We don't want to see all of this at once. Um, we might also want to be able to total up their, their costs. Okay, so to do this, we're going to create queries. Um, and queries are pretty much just like ways to sort your data and add additional um, formulas and stuff. So if you go to create um, and then go to query design, hit that. Um, and this is where you choose uh, what table you want to be involved uh, in with your query. So you can make multiple tables if you wanted, but for this set of sheets, we're just making the one. Um, double click on customer hire table. Um, and if you press close now, you'll see that here is our table that we can select from. Um, and what we're going to do now is just for this query, we're going to just select what we want to include in it. So obviously we want customer ID um, and we're also going to include all their costs. So this query is just going to come up with the costs that they've generated. So we're going to go customer ID and then we're going to go with ski board cost, jacket, pants, gloves, helmet, goggles, chains, lift ticket. Okay, so there are all the possible things that they can spend their money on. Um, and now we want to have a totals column. So at the moment, your query is looking like this. Um, so it just has the customer's ID um, and then what they've spent their money on. Um, and we haven't even saved it yet. But if we go back to design view, we want to create a formula that adds it all together. So it's a little bit harder than creating a formula in Excel, as in it just takes a bit more time, um, but it can be done. So we're just going to make this little box here a bit larger because we're going to be typing a fair bit into it. So this field is going to calculate all of our costs together. So we're going to call this one total cost. You're going to do a full colon. And now it knows that that's the name of the field and then everything below it will be the formula. So to do formulas in Access, you're going to do a square bracket and then type in the name. Make sure it's case sensitive of the field that you want to add together. So we know that the first one is ski board cost. So ski board cost. Close the bracket, hit plus. And you're going to do the next one, which is open bracket, jacket, close bracket. So you can see this might take a bit of time, plus. All right, there we go. We've plussed all our stuff together. We should also uh, change its format so that it'll be in currency. And now if we run it. You can see there we go, our total costs are all added up there and that's how much they're going to be paying for their hire and their tickets and everything. Okay, we want to save this and we're going to call this um, costs QRY for query and press OK. So what we can do is then just open this whenever we want to see the costs of all of our customers. Now, you can always sort stuff individually. Just say you want to make it so that you can see who's paying the most. Um, with your query open or even your table open, you just click on this little button here and you just say sort large to smallest. Um, and you can see that it's readjusted all the data and you can see who's paying the most, which is customer 001 uh, paying 355. Okay, um, we can also sort it back from small, uh, just from small to largest, there we go. Okay, um, other useful queries. So this is probably the most useful one, i.e. because it gives us the total cost, uh, but maybe you just want to have um, a list of all the names of your customers or something like that. You just say create query again. Um, you include your table. Um, maybe we just want to see the their details and not what they've hired. So we might just go ID, last name, first name, um, then year of birth, and then maybe what they hired and their skill level. 
Um, and now if we save that, we're just going to call this customer details short or well, something else. And this is also a query. And if we double click, so you can see their details here. And we've sort of cut out the additional information that would be seen on this table. So queries are good for sort of shortening down your searches and for providing additional functionality. So make sure you've made a query that does the costs and also a query um, that is showing sort of the details without so much clutter that you'd see here on this table. Okay, um, once we've done that, save your database.